I have my phone here, Jeff. Eh? There is a message I would love you to read. Mm. Then I'll explain that message. This message was sent to my daughter, Sally, on the 2nd of June. Wewe ujichunge sana. Iyo mdomo yako na ukishindwa tutakuonyesha kuizima. Sisi hatuogopi hata kidogo. On 1st of June. Juzi. This month's June. My daughter Sally was on Riara Road with a boyfriend, an American. They were going for tea at the junction. A motorcycle came with two people and passed them. Then stopped and waited for them. I think the passing was to do cognizance. Right, right. When they arrived where the, the people were with the motorbike, somebody pulls out a, a gun and asks the American, the American boy to give a computer the boy was holding. The young man asked why. They turned the gun and pointed at my daughter. He then moved in and pushed my daughter out of the way of the barrel of the gun. They turned on this young man and just shot him. This American boy? The American boy that died on Riera Road. And then I receive a phone call from my daughter. There's too much blood, Dad, and too much white mess, and I did not understand what he's talking about. So fortunately, the nurse took the phone from her and explained to me that uh, the friend had just been shot. The young man eventually died. Oh. But what really disturbs me one is the trauma the young girl is going through. She's in America right now, South Carolina. She went to bury the boyfriend. She hasn't come back. But what then disturbed me most is when she received this message, which she forwarded to me. My daughter is not in politics. No. So why is she supposed to keep quiet? Mdomoyako, who is that? That I mean, message well, was actually meant for me. Now, this was meant to us. I was discussing the same issue with a friend of mine uh, of a cup of tea. He is a politician, uh, very supportive of my ideas, supportive of Wetangula's ideas, because we work together. His name is Jack Wamboka. And he showed me exactly the same message from a different phone number sent to him on 9th of April. And that's what I'm saying. Has assassinations crept back and if you look the explanations as I had explained to you after the young man was shot a few days later a famous criminal by the name Ford was shot somewhere in the Gorit corner and the police explanation is he actually shot somebody an American on Riara Road and maimed a Chinese the normal anatomy of explaining right. assassinations yes and uh, I took time when I talked to a friend of mine. I will not mention uh, uh, his name. He's a senior CID officer. Just to complain about uh, 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 what is going on. And that my feeling that I might be actually a target for assassination. And we discussed it in detail. And uh, if you listen to his explanations, and he was quite sincere. He told me, you know, prisoners have been sending out <laughs> a lot of messages. So the issues of messages, uh, Cyrus, uh, I'm tired, I've had so many of them, but they are normally sent out by prisoners. I would expect a prisoner to send out a message of M-Pesa me some money Correct. or a coin to get some money, Correct. you know. Yes. I wouldn't expect to be warning you, to be issuing threats, a warning <coughs> and threats that somebody should keep quiet. And you can see the death of Ford really fitting the anatomy of assassinations mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And that's why, as much as I say, Korea, Moses, his statement, as I looked at it, was expression of his feelings, which you can't stop. But the dangerous thing in that statement 
and that is what we must look at, is insinuations that political disputes can be settled through assassinations. That was the dangerous part of it. And if you look at the most basic probability uh, that a prisoner would send a message and it ends up with my daughter after the boyfriend was murdered yesterday <laughs> i mean the chances are nil slim to none yeah, yeah. nil almost <laughs> they wow. are nil by the way the same officer i hold him in high esteem he even had the courtesy called me today and said you know we don't know what we'll do with motorcycle crimes exactly what happened to your daughter yeah. happened to a student today in Kayole. Today, today. Today. But the only difference is what happened in Kayole. I would want to know whether uh, the girl will receive a political message. Mm, the next day. And also, whether the parent is a politician. So are you worried? Bottom line, are you worried? Jeff, you cannot uh, be quite comfortable in situations like this. Yeah. And we have had Muchai being assassinated. We've had Juma the other day being assassinated, and we've seen historically uh, assassinations taking place, mm. even at the time of Ouko, yeah. where uh, there was an issue with the molasses plant, a white collar uh, uh, economic crime, him fighting over it, raising it, he's murdered, an introduction of some Swiss lady, Brenner, mm. is brought in, and Dominica Iragi, mm. and uh, in the process, Oyugi is arrested. Who happened to have been a friend of mine and that he's in the cells he wakes up he's bleeding on his hand and the people are walking out meaning he had just been injected he dies and it becomes an explanation for his murder just as the criminals at uh, the nyaya stadium were used to explain the assassination of juma ford is being used to try and uh, lower our guard by saying you know the criminal who did this on those yeah. roads yeah. so really we have to be worried with the creeping back of political assassinations mm. purposely to either kill information on uh, white collar uh, 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 economic crimes or silence opponents.